Hey guys, Mechanic CG here and welcome back to another episode of Dirt 3. Today is episode number 8. Hopefully you guys do enjoy. Right, so we're on to the first race. Beat a time of 3 minutes and 11 seconds for 7.50 rep. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's a Hyundai. What on earth is that wing? That is a massive wing. Okay, so this one's very quick on the road. Oh, might need to slow down a little bit there. I've just noticed though, this car has a thing sticking out of the side and it looks really off. It's like an engine scoop or something, but there's, it's only on one side and I wish it was on both sides, just to be even. I am not taking this car again if it's got that sticky out thing on the side. That's enough to trigger anyone's OCD. Here we go, slowing down, going off-road now. Definitely going the wrong way. Here we go, right, tap of the handbrake. This is a place where we did the first drift challenge. Nice. Perfect. I think this area is actually like dirt fish. It's probably heavily inspired by the area around dirt fish. Nice. Slowing down, come on. Perfect. Very good there. Yeah! Slow down. Perfect. Right. Bringing it to the side here. Back on the track. Ooh. Going very fast there. Was that time we had to beat again? Three minutes five. I think we're gonna beat it. Woo! Oh, look at that. 258.964. Right, on to the next one. Right, we're on to race two now. We are trying to beat a time of 1 minute 29 for 7.50 rep again. Oh my gosh. They have that car in the game. That's a Suzuki. I can't remember what it was called, but it was in Colin McRae Dirt 1. And it was like overpowered. Nice. Perfect. Right, slow down, come on, nicely done. Perfecto. The speed at which we are going though is crazy. Breaking way too late there. We missed the breaking point. Right, slow down, round the corner. Nice. Slow down, perfect. Oh, 
that car's lost something. There we go, across the line. 125.881. Red Mango Racing. Right, we are now on to race number three. We gotta beat a time of 137 for 750 rep. That's a Ford Mustang! What is this game? I need to find out how to get the Ford Mustang. I need a Ford Mustang in my life. Here we go, nice. Round the corners. Tap the handbrake. Gotta get around those. Nice and clean. Oh, perfect. Right, slow down. Tap the handbrake. Nice. Very nice. Alright, slowing down, tap the handbrake, we'll drift around there again. We are actually slower at the moment. I blame it on the night time, it's harder to see. Oh, there's a crash up ahead. It's a Mustang, he's gone off the road. Poor Mustang. Oh, you can hear the engine. Listen to that. That is such a nice sounding engine though, that Mustang. Oh no, we've gone wide. Ah, oh, third place. Ah, oh, that was not good. First overall. Look how close we were. We were less than 0 0.1 second off. No way. Look at that though. Level 13. Let's have a look and see what teams we've unlocked. Colin McRae Vision. Yes. That's a good team. The fact that they still have Colin McRae in this game is nice though. Alright, and that is the Invitational Final done. We are now on to Tokyo. The next race in the Tokyo Rallycross DLC. And we've got ourselves a Colin McRae Vision. So we're going to take that one for us. Right, so we're on to race one of two. We have to finish without rolling or spinning for 850 rep. One thing I'm hoping for is that this track isn't the same as, or at least this Tokyo Rallycross, there is a track that isn't just copy and paste it from Dirt 2. Because they have had the one from Dirt 2 come over. So I'm hoping this is a different track. And by the looks of it, we may have that. Okay, so if we go over here, we slow down for this corner. Okay, so what they've done is they've just cut out half of the track for this circuit, which is understandable. But then I want to know where, if they've got a completely different track or not. Hopefully the next race we will find out. Come on, let's overtake. There we go. Very nice position there. Oh! That was a very dodgy corner there. Perfect. Right, slowing down. Oh, that was a good corner. Hit the wall there a little bit, so not the best of starts.
But that is us. We are halfway through the race. We're on to lap number four of six. Around that corner very nicely. Squeeze through here. Try not to hit the wall again. Perfect. Right, on to lap number five. Right, slow down. Oh, nice. Perfect. Skirt around those corners. Onto the final lap. That was our best lap then. 27.404. Awesome. Oh, that was a very nice corner there. Very close to the inside. Two fifty point two seven six. Awesome. Right, on to the uh, final race of this uh, event. Right, so we are on race two. We have to jump a total distance of 524 feet. Let's do this. Oh. Okay, so this just looks like a backwards route. To be fair, I'm not really complaining that this um, is a copy and paste of Dirt 2's Rallycross because this is a good Rallycross track. Like, genuinely, this is much better than any of the Rallycross tracks they made for this game. So much better. It's just, it's a complete copy and paste and it's not like... They could have at least tweaked it a little bit. And I mean, yeah, they did one different track, but it's using the exact same road. They could have made a track where the road goes down there somewhere, for example. Tweaked it up a little bit. Oh. Come on. On to lap number two. Look at the giant can of monster energy there, though. Right, I'm hoping on the next lap we should get that jump distance. Ah, oh, the car is so close behind me. really get airtime there, that's the problem. Nice, nice. Perfect. Keep it along the inside. Let's see if we can get the airtime this time. Oh, we didn't get the airtime. That is not very good. That car is right next to me. Stay back. Ah, oh, he's put me off. He's put me off. He's put me off. No. Come on, sneak up towards the inside. Nice. Oh, that was very close to the inside there. Come on, come on, across the line. Yes, first place.
Oh, that was close. Ah, oh, very close. Very, very close. Right, let's see how much reputation we got for those races. Hopefully, it's quite a lot. 1,850. Ah, yeah, we didn't get the second objective, did we? No second objective. But that is that fully completed. Right, we're now moving on to the Summer X Games. Let's have a look. What have we got? Okay, so we've only got four events for this. Uh, so we've got the LA Coliseum Rallycross, first of all. Four laps each. I'm thinking, wow, we're going to have to take the RS200. The RS200 is such a nice rallycross car. Like, just look at that. Look how stunning that car looks. You've dominated rallycross races so far, but keep focused. The competition will be looking for an opportunity to take advantage. Now, the one thing that's different between the LA Coliseum for the last game and this game is the fact that there is bollards in the way that makes it an absolute nightmare. Just in the middle of the road, spread out, bollards everywhere. Go, go, go. Good start so far. These bollards are annoying. This is a short outdoors track, actually. So we don't actually get to go inside the Coliseum. Which is kind of annoying. I was looking forward to going inside the Coliseum. Alright, quick. Hop through there. Nice. We took that corner very sideways there. Perfect. Nicely done. Halfway through the race already. One minute point nine. Here we go. Nice. Right, let's slow down for here. Perfect. Awesome. Ah, oh, we've gone way too wide there. We didn't slow down enough. Right, let's see if we can get a sub two minute time. I think we might be able to just get it. Yes! 158.974. Your fans will go nuts when they see that. Let's post it on YouTube. Right, let's go on to race two. We gotta finish without taking any damage. Hopefully we can do that. I have a feeling we won't. Something tells me we're not good enough at this game yet to do it without taking any damage. Oh, but we are weaving through these cars. Does that count as damage? I would presume it would. That we are doing all right as to not crash into things. Nice. Very nice. Taking those corners great there. That's Mohammed Ben Sulayem there from the last game. And we are beating him. Oh, 
yes. Come on, come on. I still don't like the design of this car where they put just stick that wing on there. It doesn't look right. I will be surprised if we get this as no damage. Oh, only just under two minutes again. Millions of people watching this on TV and our driver doesn't even flinch. <laughs> Intimidated in the least. Very impressive. I ain't scared of nothing. Let's see. How Did we level up? No, we won't have... We did not level up. Um, so what we're going to do now is we're going to go on to Gymkhana by the looks of it. you kicking ass, I was out getting you an invite to the latest challenge. Ready to win over a whole new batch of fans? Oh. In the middle of the X Games, Christian? Really? Whoa, lady. Never question a corporate sponsor. <laughs> okay, Gymkhana Heat. Let's go. One minute 30 to do this. Right, let's go and do this. Mitsubishi time. Oh, this looks amazing. Right, let's get started with the donut. Right, let's smash these. There we go, drift time. Try and spin. Perfect. Ah, oh, we came out of the zone. Perfect, 20,000 points. 30,000 for the smash. Let's do a donut. And let's smash these. Smash these. Oh, we lost a load of points there. Oh, and airtime there. Perfect. Oh, that chain though there. 307,000 points. First place. Let's get that win. You're so close to the final. Keep up that intensity. Keep it up. It was very good there. Right, we're now onto a Jim Connor attack, so we've got one minute twenty to pass the challenge. So we have to do all of these tricks before the timer ends. Right, we got the drift there. Where's the other drift? Oh, I didn't count through there. Ah, oh, no! We're only getting a silver for this one. Oh, 58 point, uh, 58 seconds. A silver medal. What a day. I'll take a silver. I don't think I'll be getting a gold on that. Right, we're on to the Rallycross final now. It is the LA Coliseum. So hopefully this has uh, the full track. And we're going to be taking out RS200 again. 
I'm looking forward to see how um, the track has changed, whether it's changed much at all or not. Great in rallycross this season. Let's keep that momentum going. Let's keep the momentum going. Yes. Look how amazing that looks, though. That is so cool. Uh, so we got to get the fastest lap time for 8.50 rep. That should be pretty easy, actually. It goes the other way. Before it would go towards the right and then under the bridge. And then it would go all the way across and then out through this hole. Towards the other side as well. So this is a completely different direction again. Come on, pick up the speed. this. Oh, this is the uh, final straight. There we go. Nice. Oh. Very nice. Getting that air time as well. I have a feeling this race is probably going to take less than 5 minutes 30. Might take longer because we just spun out. That spinning out was not my plan at all. do this. We need to be careful with drifting on tarmac. Because it's not ideal. At least rallycross though in this game feels like rallycross where it's actually like fast pace. In Dirt 2, Rallycross just felt a little bit slow. Perfect. I think we could be on par with that uh, time that I was saying. Maybe, maybe not. They are staying quite planted behind me at the moment. I can't imagine how many people are sat in these stands right now, though. Oh, slow down. Nice.
Right, we're on the final lap now. Let's get some more airtime. I love the jumps in this game. It's just like... Fly like an eagle. That is literally the only song that comes to mind when you go over a jump. I definitely don't like first person camera. Five thirty nine point nine. It's a decent time there. And that is the X Games final done. You raced on the big stage and you blew everyone's doors off. This is amazing. I'm so proud of you. Totally! Congratulations, dude! How's it feel to be one of the big dogs? Five thousand rep. Oh, what team have we got now? Alpine Stars. Decent. Welcome to season three, and congratulations on an amazing Summer X Games. Mate, you absolutely tore up the track, and on live TV too. DC was really impressed by your racing, so they've given you access to the newly upgraded depot at Battersea. Oh, okay, cool. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like, comment down below and subscribe. If you want to help support the channel, hit that join button in the world for me. And if you want to join our Discord where we're going to be discussing a lot about the upcoming Dirt 5 release, then make sure to click that link down in the description down below. And there's a load of other social links there as well. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.